Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Don't try too hard if you're handsome. Look, this is handsome. This is game specifically for handsome men. And when I say handsome, not the type that, you know, your mama told you you're handsome, because hopefully your mama does tell you you're handsome. I mean, guys who legitimately been called handsome, heck, might have even been approached to be a model, you know, they, they definitely get likes on their uh, IG pics uh, by women and everything. Like legitimately handsome actually need game too <laughs> and the reason why i'm saying that is you know there's a lot of people think oh if you're just handsome and everything uh no no that's a bait because many women will say he was all right till he opened his mouth now specific game with regard to being handsome is don't try too hard in fact that's the worst thing you can do that's the worst thing as a if you're a handsome man you've been called handsome you got to be real cool and calm how you approach women even be careful what you say like for example um often when a woman she you managed to be talking to that woman she shoot she might assume that you're a player or something else now if you were to say oh no i'm single and all that they don't jump for joy they think something is wrong with you they, seriously, they think, oh, wait a minute, what's wrong with him? Oh, he don't have a woman? What's wrong with him? I would just say, if you, ha if you have some lady friends, just some friends, just say you got friends and leave it at that. But in general, you can't try too hard for that same reason I just outlined. If you trying too hard, like you get some, if you like a handsome guy and you've been called handsome, the worst thing you can do is be all up in someone, some woman's DMs or trying or chasing too hard. They will automatically think something is wrong with you because they automatic, first of all, when they see you, they think you got a woman. They are automatically think you got a woman. And then it's like, it's like they'll look at you and it like you're doing all this extra stuff like a lot of other guys, less attractive guys really have to do. And if you're doing it, they say, well, what's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? In fact, as a handsome man, honestly, you actually have to kind of let them chase you. Because if they, because they automatic, automatically thinking, okay, something's wrong. Now, if a guy's like le average looking or less attractive, if he's chasing, doing all that, heck, they actually think it's cute, to believe it or not. That's why some of them will get a woman, like, you know, they average looking and then, you know, they approach the woman, they got some balls on them and everything, and they cool and calm, can talk with it. That actually raises it up. See, one thing when women, they kind of grade a man. When, um, you know, if he ain't all that, but then he works hard, like it, say he has a short stature. I've actually met women who liked men who had a short stature for that reason, because he said, they said, and this several women have said this, they'll deal with him because, you know what, he's short stature, but he's still confident. He's still, you know, fixing himself up. He's still doing stuff. Women are moved by that. And then, you know, they'll do a little bit more, so they move by that. But then when that guy's handsome already and got what it takes to attract a woman, and he's doing all of that, they think, okay, something's wrong. Something is wrong. Women should be chasing him. Something is wrong. So you got to be chill. One thing, because I've had a lot of dudes who will say, oh, they're handsome, and even met some men, even though as a man it's hard for me to judge, but I can judge if somebody, you know, cleans up and everything and is in decent shape. And they'll say, yeah, the women will say this and, you know, and have this trouble. Well, one, because the women are kind of nervous. Remember, I did a video the other week saying women prefer to be the better looking one. They prefer, you know, and indeed they will. I mean, they, yeah, they still like a lesser woman still will want to deal with that man out of a fantasy. You know, if it could be real quick or something. But if you're talking about a relationship or something like that, mm, no, they can be real funky with it. And see, that's another thing, too, that man can intimidate the woman. As a, If you're a handsome man, like legitimately handsome, you got to be kind of cool and calm. Like you can still approach a woman. You can still approach, but you can't you can't come off as thirsty or, or trying some lines like, damn, it's, it's basically walk up to him and say, hey, how you doing? And just talk to him like that. Okay, they'll be honored 
just to be clear, they'll be honored. They'll be, oh, this fine dude. But they'll, they'll play it cool. They might not show it. They'll play it cool. But you got to play it cool. You can't come off like some thirsty dude because then they, they, then they wonder. But if you cool or calm or better yet, meet them like in the rhythm or something, like y'all in the uh, grocery store or something and y'all just happen to meet in the same aisle. Well, first of all, if y'all met there, uh, she was probably trying anyway. Just be cool and calm. Don't say anything out of the way. Because see, here's the issue with that. Even when they talking with you, they looking for, okay, what's wrong with them? Okay, he's gonna say something. They on guard, because they already think you're a player automatically. Automatically, they think you're a player for even talking to them, for even a, approaching them. And they might think you're attractive, but then they like, hmm, because they worried about getting hurt and everything. That's why, hey, look, honestly, what I said about average and ugly men, that's why a lot of women have gotten dogged by them because the man got through their defenses a little bit quicker. And even then, they had to have a lot going on. So it's still not easy for those guys. Now, yes, it's definitely, you know, the woman's definitely checking out that handsome man, but then she's like, okay, because of her own self-esteem. Notice I said her own self-esteem, especially if she don't feel like she's all that. And she could be legitimately attractive, but she don't feel like she all that. She's like wondering, okay, what's up with them? What's okay, what's going on? And they'll be like scrutinizing every word, everything you say, looking for something, looking for something to mess with you on. So the thing is, if you see that woman, you gotta be cool and calm. And you gotta be, you can't act, you can't come off like play or play. You gotta come off, you almost, you gotta come off like, you know, this ain't something that you normally do. You know, but it's something about her, so you're talking with her and all of that stuff. But even then, you can't, you cannot come off as thirsty. You know, you can't come off as like play. And, and women can pick up on it, because if the, especially if the woman has any level of attractiveness, she's been approached since she was a little girl. She's been approached. She'd even buy some like, uh, lecherous uncles or pedophile uncles or something. And I'm dead serious. So you got to be cool and calm. That's the one thing. Now I ain't saying don't sit back and wait. They still want to be, but you better be cool and calm. And even then you can't try too hard. Indeed, if you, if you got those looks and you can cool and calm, the woman will be trying harder to get with you. And when I say handsome, let me just be clear on that. Because if you like super, super, like supermodel handsome or something, yeah, you still going, you gonna have some issues. I would say what, uh, what women will call a uh, husband cute, uh, shout out to uh, Nicole Michelle. Um, she came up with that. Basically, like generically handsome. Like, you, you know what, you got a nice, you got, you, got, you got a nice cut, the barber blessed you, you know, you cleaned up, you fixed up and everything. You know, you still got to be cool. <laughs> you still got to be cool with it. You know, you got to have that cool, calm, smooth. You can't come off as nervous. You definitely can't come off as trying too hard. You know, and it, it takes practice because sometimes you see that woman and, or what it happened is a guy who has that, this is a better way of putting it. You know, he's listening to like, just say some thirsty men and say, yeah, you got to approach, you got to use this line or something. And the woman, look, let's be real. If a woman see you as handsome, the only line you need is hi. How you doing today? She'll take it from there. But if you come up like, uh, well, I need directions to this place or that indirect shit, they're going to be like, come on, man. You ain't even need to do all that. Just be cool and calm. You don't even need to bring up that. I'm going to tell you what. You approach, you open up, you be cool, everything. They, and if they do ask you, oh, yeah, do you have a woman? And you just be like, nah, I, I mean, I know some women, you know, I can date here and there. Just be honest with them, you know, because one thing about women, and I'll put this out there, they're very competitive with each other, you know? They're very competitive. And just like I said, just say you got friends, but don't, do not try too hard. That's the worst thing you can do. Because if you look thirsty, they're questioning why. They're questioning why. And if you say, even if you say, and even if you legitimately single, they're questioning why. That's why I say, if you got to say anything, just if you got, as long as you got some friends 
and let's be real, most men, most men should have at least one or two female friends, just say friends, very ambiguous and all of that. And it's kind of honest. Like I said, let's be real. If you out here, you got at least one woman, like one um, friends with benefits or something. So just say that and leave it at that. Or don't just say, you know, some people, something like that. You know, you're not telling them everything, but you're not lying either. All right. But whatever you do, don't try so hard. The second you come off like that, it turns them off. It makes them suspect stuff. And, you know, it, it, it turns them off. Like, because here's a basic thing with some women. They need to feel like that they're doing some work. That they're seducing you. All right. So leave them, leave the work, leave some work for them to do. All right. If you're that handsome dude, and when I say handsome, like people outside of your family have called you handsome, <laughs> you know, <laughs> seriously. Because like I said, you get some guys who get it like that. They got to realize women, they can look at them, say they're handsome. I've said that several times, you know, but then they might feel because of the woman's insecurity might feel uncomfortable because of her insecurity. But if you cool and calm, that kind of alleviates her insecurity and opens it up. But when you come in all hard and huh, like you thirsty or something, they thinking, okay, something's up with them. That's the key, y'all, all right? So, one of the few times I give y'all some real game outside of Patreon. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get deeper on uh, stuff like this on my Patreon. I really get deep on it, but you know, because on this channel, I just want y'all to develop yourselves. But I said, let me share that because it's surprise. I, it's actually interesting because you get guys out here thinking, oh, yeah, if the guy's just hands me getting all this. It's like, nah, they go through some stuff, too. Yeah, yeah, they got a better bait than most people. Better bait. And, you know, I always talk body game is bait, but that's just the bait. You know, you got to have a hook in there. <laughs> then that's part of your hook. So be cool and calm about it. Don't try so hard. Just be cool. Just be cool. All right. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.